Well, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to this virtual Cherry Blossom Festival. The trees have been around the Tidal Basin for approximately 100 years plus. But there is an importance of knowing the history of the cherry trees so that you can enjoy them much more fully. There was a woman by the name of Eliza Ruhama Sidmore. She had spent considerable time in Japan, and this American wrote Helen Heron Taft, the First Lady of the United States. She suggested to the First Lady that there be cherry trees planted in Washington to help beautify it. And Mrs. Taft was very, very much in agreement with that. And so the first trees were sent in 1909. Thank you to a man by the name of Dr. Takamina. This individual was a scientist and he discovered adrenaline. And so he thought, let me help in trying to beautify the city as well. Mrs. Taft was agreeable to that as well and the trees were sent. But there was a potential diplomatic problem. It was discovered. The trees had major problems with insects, with nematodes, that is a type of worm. And if the trees were kept, there may be a problem of diseases spreading to other trees. But you cannot just return these cherry trees to your local nursery. This is from an individual from a sovereign nation. What are you going to do? Japanese were very, very gracious in accepting the fact the trees needed to be destroyed. And at the behest, at the order of William Howard Taft, the 27th President of the United States, the trees were destroyed. Dr. Takamina, however, did not give up in his idea of fostering friendship, nor did Yubio Ozaki. Yubio Ozaki was the mayor of Japan. And there's something significant about this individual. Mayor Ozaki was opposed to the militarists in his own country who were inflicting damage to democracy. And so he, with Dr. Takamina, also helped in getting the trees sent. The trees were sent over and were planted on March 27th, 1912, and they were not planted all at once. It took about seven years for them to be planted. Following that, we had a cherry blossom festival beginning in the 30s. Basically, it has gone on ever since with the exception of the war years in uh, the 1940s and of course the pandemic as well. Later in the 1940s, there was also the beginning of the cherry blossom queen festival. And that is something that occurs every year as well. We have had more trees planted. In 1965, Lady Bird Johnson, the wife of Lyndon Johnson, President of the United States, and the wife of the Japanese ambassador, again planted cherry trees. And there were approximately 3,800 of them given to us. But that was not the end of the planting because in 2012, Michelle Obama, wife of our president of the United States, had another tree planted south of the Lincoln Memorial and along the Tidal Basin. But she was not alone. The great-grandson of William Howard Taft, president when the first trees were planted, was there. The granddaughter of Mayor Ozaki was there as well. So the trees have a long history in our country, in this city, rather, and uh, we hope that you can enjoy them. Thank you.